Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing absolutely fine. So yesterday, company's president Ken Lee Hong took a meeting with car owners, and in that meeting, he revealed few important details. He talked about Neo Phone, which is coming next quarter. Neo sub brand Alps to start deliveries in 2024. About US entry and a new brand launch in Europe. Ken Lee Hong also announced that the first user will get hands on Neo Phone in Q2 2023, but only for testing purposes, and it will be offered to Neo EP Club members first. The delivery for general public are planned for Q3 2023. He also didn't forget Europe and confirmed the previous announcement that Neo ED5 station wagon combi will be launched in Europe in June and July. However, the launch date for China wasn't announced yet, but it will be after the Europe debut, as demand for prolonged car is much bigger in the old continent. If the demand is high before the launch, it means it is going to be a hit. The Alps brand is supposed to be Neo, what the Volkswagen brand is to Audi, independently operated and with own R&D and management. It will target the 200,000 yuan to 300,000 yuan market. President also said that very soon they will start delivering in US. He teased the next generation NT 3.0 platform and announced that research and development will fully start in first half of the year. Worth mentioning the previous word of Neo CEO William Lee that the next generation Neo car is coming to US. Neo plan to have five models underpin by NT 2.0 platform in first half of 2023. Seems like very soon they will start delivering in US as well. Apart from that, Li Hong also assured users that Neo plan to deliver update to all cars for 15 years and that work on generation 3 battery swap station is going according to the plans with no delays. This new generation swap station will double the speed of battery exchange, bringing a single swap to 2.5 minutes. First PSS generation 3 will be installed in March in 2023 in China. Neo's co-founder also mentioned the challenges it faces, the rise in lithium prices and chips, the average price of 100 kilowatt battery rose by 40,000 yuan last year. In Europe, the main challenges are macroeconomic factors and geopolitic uncertainty. However, once they will launch this new phone and they will start delivering in Europe, delivery numbers will almost double and it will add a big chunk of revenue in Neo's balance sheet. From next financial year, we are going to see improved numbers for sure. With that said, thank you so much for being here. See you in next update.